Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks and in this replay we have Sky Raging in one of uh, the tier 8 Russian premium heavy tanks. It is the KV-5, the chunky boy, uh, yeah the one that everyone likes to have some ram builds on it, right? I have one as well. Um, so Sky Raging is going to go with Fence, they're going to go with Bond Rammer and Bounty Turbo Charger and they actually have uh, Miller Jovovich has the commander apparently, so I guess they really like their KV-5. Um, yeah, in this battle, did you know, very, very nice matchmaking, tier 6, tier 7 vehicles. It's definitely what you like to see when you match up in your tier 8 heavy tank, especially those premiums, not even can make a bunch of credits. And yes, yeah, Sky Raging is going to show exactly, exactly how much damage, how much credits they can make. In such a matchup, first things first, they won into the side of the T-34 too. And uh, yeah, when you have that bomb drama, when you have those vents, you can actually make those long range sniper shots. I mean, it's not going to be very reliable, it's not the most accurate of vehicles, but it gets the job done. Even with the standard rounds that are very bad on this vehicle, with a 196 millimeters of penetration, so like... 196 millimeters of penetration. I'd say it's kind of like tier 7, maybe heavy tank ranges. Um, but at tier 8, it's, it's not even close to being enough. And if you take into account the premium rounds, that are only 219 millimeters of APCR pen. Uh, yeah, this vehicle definitely, definitely struggles when it is against uh, high tier vehicles. But, you know, when you get into this sort of matchup, you don't really need. You don't need a uh, high pen, right? Putting one into. Okay, maybe you do need because you can't go through A43s. <laughs> uh, but I mean, actually hit the track of the A43, but the side of the IS is easily penetrated. Okay, so KV5. What is so special about this vehicle? Well, this vehicle has 150 millimeters of side armor. This entire thing is 150 millimeters. That means that. If you try and side scrape regularly, right, you will just get hit in this turret in the R2-D2, as it is called by the community. Um, you can get hit in the capola and stuff. This is easily penned, but you can actually do reverse side scraping. You can use the back side and reverse side scrape out of corners to bounce a lot of shells. Because people will be like, okay, he's going to, he's showing us kind of the side is going back, right? So it's an easy pen. Nope. Oh, nope, they can't actually really pen if you reverse side scrape like this, as you can see. Get into the 7032 side. Um, but if they actually keep on reverse side scraping like this, the 7032 is going to struggle going through the side of the vehicle. But the front of the turret is only like 200 millimeters of effective armor into the low plate of fin. And never mind. Um, yeah, like I said, awful pen. But maybe this one, maybe this one into the back of the turret, getting the 7032. And now the IS going forth. Putting one chunky shell into Sky Raging, unfortunately. When did it hit? Um, it seemed like it, go th it went through the side of the turret over here. When turned, it is very weak. And like I said, this flat area over here is actually like 190, 200 millimeters of effective armor. So you will get penned very often in this vehicle. But yeah, when you have this sort of matchup, you know, but they don't have the 200 millimeters of penetration. And you don't show them your weak spots on the front of the vehicle. You give them the side armor and they just gobble it up, you know. You can do a lot of damage, a lot of blocked damage as well. And so far, Sky Raging is just owning, I mean, 4,800 damage and 3 kills so far in this battle. Bouncing 1,500 damage as well. Don't get to the side of the Churchill 7. Very troll. Um, unless he's actually facing you and then it's easily penetrated. But when they're angling, it is rather difficult to go through. But Sky Raging already fired like 20 something rounds. My goodness. This game is crazy. Switching to APCR now. They actually fired one APCR round so far in this battle. Um, and 22. 22 AP rounds. So, I mean, when you pen so many of your regular rounds. And there we go. Finishing off the Tiger 2. Another one of those tier 8 heavies. Finish off both the Tiger 2 and the 703 2. And here we go, like I said, if you shoot the track of the Churchill 7, when he's directly in front of you, you can actually go through that vehicle, because the hull kind of extends into the tracks, so that is something to to use in the future against those Churchills. But yeah, like I said, when you fight 25 regular rounds, 
and you do almost 6,000 damage, you just get a bunch of credits, right? Unfortunately, ran out of those regular rounds and now it's time to spam the gold because this team is, is definitely not up to the task. Five kills, 6,000 damage, and the team's down by four vehicles and 3,000 HP, telling the Tiger one to fall back. Needs everyone with us over here at the end of this battle, making it a 3v6 over here. The Tiger won't try to shut down the T-34-2. Can you finish him off? Yes, they can, but the T-34-2 actually finishes off the Lorraine one 550 unfortunately. Making this a 2v5. There we go, the FSV. Miss bounces, actually, the side of Sky Raging, like I said, side armor, best armor over here. And shuts down the Tiger, and now it is a 1v5. It is Sky Raging against five of the enemy vehicles. But there we go. FSV is a one shot. The M4 actually catches him in the side, going probably through the turret, I guess, because the side arm, like I said, very strong. And it's a catcher flush in the side, and then it is only, you know, the 150 millimeters of effective armor, right? Because that is uh, the amount of armor you have. The SUPM, the most dangerous on the vehicle on the team by far right now. Need to focus that vehicle down. Need to finish it off with an HE round into the turret. Easy. Easy peasy kill, and I have the FSV and the Rudy over here. 54 pen and 360 alpha, if anyone is wondering. Um, about 30 HE rounds, finishing off the FSV with a nice clutch into the side, making this 1v5 into a 1v2. And this is exactly where you want to be, right? Even if the Rudy's full health, even if the M12 is full health, you know you can just go through them. 1000 HP, there the Rudy is full health. But they're firing HE. So this, this is actually pretty dangerous, because like, the HE might set Sky Raging on fire, you know? And without a fire extinguisher here, this is this is rather risky. Can't let that Rudy shoot you in the side. Can't let that Rudy find those fuel tanks. But there we go, ramming and doing 200 damage just just with a little touch, right? Uh, so this vehicle weighs over 100 tons. So, yeah, that's why a lot of people have these ram builds. It is fun, it is fun. You can get a lot of damage. If you do that, and now it is a 1v1 against the M12, get a lovely ram killer to end this game off, and it just felt so comfortable. Right? It was like, from start to finish, Sky Raging was in control of the battle, shooting the T-34-2 towards the east at first, finishing off the city later, going down south to, um... To defuse the cap, you know, defuse the bomb that was the Rudy um, USSR and just doing everything perfectly. And when you do everything perfectly, you know, you angle nicely, you shoot the right targets, you use the correct ammo for the correct vehicle. You just get awesome games like this one. 11 kills, 9,400 damage and yeah, winning 1v5. So, KV5, like I said, it, it's a very funny vehicle i guess it's not good like you can get wholesome results like this one but it's it's definitely the outlier um more of a troll vehicle because like i said as you can see the flat surface of the turret is less than 200 millimeters of effective armor you have these um kind of capolas mini turrets i guess the r2d2 on the front of the vehicle which is very weak tier 6 vehicles will go through as well uh, the cupola on top, very weak as well. But if you actually know that you can use reverse side scraping techniques, you can bounce quite a bit of shells because people don't expect, you know, if, if they see you like this, they'll be like, cool, side armor, lol, easy pen. But no, it's actually like 270 to 330 uh, millimeters of effective armor if you angle correctly. So yeah. Definitely do try to be cheeky, be sneaky with the reverse side scraping on this vehicle. Like Sky Raging did over here and walked 3,780 damage. Uh, yeah, if you try to fight with this vehicle frontally, as you can see, this is this is kind of Swiss cheese. A lot of weak spots, so don't expect to bounce too much if you show them the front of the vehicle. Also, not good pen, 196. Um, bad gold pen, 219. Which makes this vehicle, I guess, perfect for ramming or for messing around, you know, trolling around. But you usually don't see people playing this one like as you normally would play. It's more of a troll vehicle. So I was surprised seeing Sky Raging actually having, you know, the Bond Drama and Bounty Turbo 
going for the damage and I guess it works. I guess it works in the right sort of matchup with a 9,000, 400 damage and 11 kills. But yeah, let's go and check out the post game stats real quick. There it is, um, easy ace tanker for the 2,512 base XP earned. And yeah, I mean, the title is definitely fitting pure dominance with a KV-5 getting a pools medal for the 11 kills, a Cole Bannum's medal for standing, against, uh, standing alone against those 5 enemy vehicles at the end, and emerging victorious, um, a defender medal for actually getting 73 defense points against that um, Rudy USSR, a steel wall for blocking 3,780 uh, damage from the enemy team, a high caliber, of course, for the 9,413 damage, and a top gun for, you know, more than six kills, right? That was almost double, almost two top guns in this battle. And yeah, just the difference between Sky Raging and everyone else. It's kind of like what everyone else did together times two, I guess. Maybe. It, it, it's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. The difference between Sky Raging and the teammates over here. Firing 42 rounds, all of the regular rounds were fired first, I really like that. Um, firing all of the AP, before going over to the APCR. Um, 39 hit, 35 penetrated, which is always lovely to have, especially like, considering you find a lot of regular rounds, and this vehicle doesn't have good pen with the regular rounds. So, really good marksmanship by Sky Raging over here. 9,400 damage, 1,482 from a distance of more than 300 meters. Which is surprising in a KV-5. I mean, it's not the most accurate vehicles in the game. Uh, 31 hits received and only 3 penetrated. And all of those were frontally, right? So like, like I said earlier, if you want to block more shells, you need to give them more of the side and the rear of the vehicle. Reverse side scraping. If you're able to master reverse side scraping, you'll bounce a lot of shells uh, with a KV-5. 19 didn't pen and 9 were very chill. All of those were by... Uh, the Rudy, who is actually firing HE. 3,780 damage blocked by the armor, one vehicle spotted, 13 enemy vehicles damaged, 11 destroyed, and yeah, 73 defense points, like we said earlier. So in this 7 minute, 7 second battle, Sky Raging was able to make 300,000 credits. This is like stonks, you know? 300,000 credits in, in a 7 minute battle. If you can do that constantly, you're going to be a, a billionaire. You're going to be a billionaire in World of Tanks. That is crazy. Um, but yeah, when you fire regular rounds, don't spam the goal too much, and you have such an awesome game. This is what you can expect at the end of the battle, even when you resupply your premium consumables, right? 26,000 credits um, on the consumables, so awesome, awesome profit here made by Sky Raging, and look at the 11,681 experience earned in this battle, I mean, maybe it'll, maybe it'll help them get the field mods, who knows, who knows, anyway, anyway, Sky Raging, GG, well played, awesome game, win the KV-5, just doing everything on the team, you know, it, it's like I said, it was a one-man army over here. Um, Sky Raging, GG, well played. But this is it for this video, I guess. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of the KV-5? Do you like it? Don't like it? Maybe you don't have it and you wanted to can actually get this vehicle in the bond shop if you're interested in trying this vehicle out. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments your thoughts, your opinions, and as always, thank you so much for watching. You're awesome. Stay awesome. Stay safe. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Tell people have a good one.